Hi, my name is Reverend Lizanne Bassham, and I'm a consultant, trainer, and curriculum writer for the Faith Trust Institute. For the past 30 years, I've had the privilege of working with middle and high school youth and their families on local, regional, and national levels. Adolescence is an amazing time. Our brains are still developing, and we're moving from the concrete thinking of childhood into the abstract thinking of adults. Our bodies are going through incredible hormonal changes and growth. And socially, our world seems shaped and pretty controlled by the spoken and unspoken rules created by our peer relationships. Adolescence is a wonderful and difficult time. One of our most important tasks in adolescence is broadening out our childhood relationships with family and friends and moving into relationships with the added complexity of hormones and hearts. As adults, we hope and pray that those adolescent relationships will be caring, honest, tender, and full of integrity and mutual trust. But we know statistically and anecdotally that violence, control, and abuse in teen relationships cut across culture, class, geography, sexual orientation, faith, and gender. We also know that females from 16 to 24 are more vulnerable to intimate partner violence than any other age group, at a rate almost triple the national average. Gender equality has come a long way in the past 20 years, and yet continued media stereotypes as of boys as emotionally shallow action heroes and girls as passive sexual possessions still exist to further fuel unhealthy relationships. And while technology has added new ways for us as mentors, parents, youth ministers, counselors, and other concerned adults to teach about healthy teen relationships, it's also added new tools for abusers to control their partners. The most important thing we can do for teens is to be present with them and to develop strong, healthy, cross-generational relationships so that we can help them see the red flags of abusive relationships and know where to turn if they need help getting out of them. I hope you'll join me on February 7th from 11 a.m. to noon Pacific Standard Time for an online webinar exploring these issues. This webinar is generously sponsored by a grant from the Lutheran Community Foundation and so is free and open to adults of all faiths and backgrounds who are working with or parenting adolescents. To register, simply go to the Faith Trust Institute website and click on Upcoming Webinars under the Training tab. In the webinar, we'll address what we can do as adults to educate teens on building healthy relationships and avoiding unhealthy relationships. I'll also introduce you to an abuse prevention resource, Love, All That and More, an award-winning program designed for high school age youth, and we'll talk about how to adapt it for your particular setting. The Love All Then More curriculum has been used around the country for close to 20 years and covers the core and important issues on healthy teen relationships and dating violence prevention. It's a great resource, but we're hoping to make it even better, and so we're launching a national contest inviting individual youth and groups of youth to create and submit original videos on teen dating violence with specific focus on the topics of gender stereotypes in the media or on the topic of technology and social media. Guidelines and prize info can be found at our Faith Trust website, faithtrustinstitute.org. As one of the original developers of this curriculum, I'm excited to see it augmented by the creativity of teens around the country. Finally, I ask that you check out our website, like us on Facebook, and know that we know that the work you do as teachers, youth ministers, parents, counselors, and caring and committed adults can make all the difference in the lives of the adolescents you know. Blessings.